Welcome back everybody. In this video, I wrap up the construction of the carpenter shop with two small projects. One is completion of the roadway and adding electric wires to simulate power poles. In GN15, these power poles are tall. They tower over me. While there's a million details that I still can add, the distractions of other parts of the layout still beckon. So let's start with the roadway. First thing I did was lay down some foam core, peeled away the uh, paper layer at the top, and started drawing with a ballpoint pen, a uh, cheap one, not a fine, but a medium, and start drawing the cobblestone detail. Uh, it provides a nice detail level, and after a little bit of listening to podcasts, uh, it comes out really nice. And I painted right on top, I then painted the background a little to connect the roadway to the background. Power poles. They're a great detail to add to any scene, and I decided to add them to mine. The style that I was going for was a rural uh, power pole, and in 124th scale, mine is 29 inches tall, which equates to about 58 scale feet tall. I used a 3 8 inch dowel to start off the pole and using a hacksaw I started scraping up and down throughout the, the dowel until I had a texture that I liked. After the texture was done and the furry bits removed through using a sandpaper, lightly sanding it, I painted it. And after the painting dried, I then added details to the power pole, like the electric insulators. These electric insulators are 3D printed and they will be available uh, in the show notes below, in case you wanted to print your own. You can, of course, size them down if you're in HO scale or N scale um, or O scale, but in GN15 GN or G scale, 124 scale, they are pretty impressive uh, detail to add to a building and they stand out. So next is the installation of the electric wiring. The electric lines. The electric lines are another added detail, but I was afraid, given my propensity to, for knocking things over, that installing electric lines will be hazardous. I'll probably get my elbows caught in there or my hands caught in there or my head as I work on the scene uh, will um, destroy the electric lines. But I discovered that instead of using regular thread, I found a product called Easy Line. I will include a link in the show notes where um, you can buy it in, in the Amazon store. The uh, It's an associate's link, so I will earn a, a few pennies on uh, each purchase. Um, but the Easy Line is really great. It's not fuzzy like thread is and it's elastic. It is super easy to use. Basically, you add uh, a, a drop of super glue to the end of one of the insulators and then run it to the next pole, not gluing it. Um, given my realistic uh, electric insulators, the, uh, all I had to do was wrap the wire around it and go to the next pole. Uh, every so often, every other pole, you may want to, to glue it, but you should not have to uh, glue every single pole. Um, I will uh, now show you a video of me installing it, but it's super simple. And after you install it, it if you ever bump into it, it snaps right back into place.
The Easy Line product is an amazing product. It stretches so it'll survive my bumps while I continue working on the Mauro Railroad. And it's going to have other uses for other power poles and for my model boats. Well, the Carpenter's build is complete. I may add more details as I go along in, in the future, but for now, I'm going to wrap it up here. And I'm already working on other projects for the model railway. This project has been fun and using uh, stop motion movies as inspiration has been very helpful in creating a unique look to our model railway buildings. Thank you for visiting the little fishing village of Amalfitan. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Until next time, arrivederci.